Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is uh, barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. Fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. This place, simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. It does seem to be a 4-3-3, Jim. Yes, and the importance of this formation is not to allow the midfield three and the attacking three to become too detached from one another. If that happens, then pressure can quickly be applied via the counter-attack and you can be exposed defensively. So compactness can't be compromised. And you need talkers in this team. You need leaders and people that are willing to organize things very quickly. The action has already started. Guerrero plays it out to the wing. Lovely feet. Looking for a decent ball in. Oh, shooting chance! It's been taken short. Oh, sweet feet. D'Alessandro delivers. Tries to get it clear. Now a chance to break. Anything noteworthy in the early part of the match, Jim? Well, I think both teams probably feel it's, it's too early for either to start taking real risks. So they're still very much in a phase of, of testing the waters and, and sizing each other up. Well, they are working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's, uh, it's where the room is. Drives it in. Oh, that's not going to find its target. The ball glued to his feet. And it's Eddie Nielsen. And that has been clubbed away. It's gone for a throw in. Forward it goes. Hoists it forward. Has he found his man? It's a long pass, but not the most accurate. <laughs> D'Alessandro. Right through the middle. And 
the flag has stayed down. D'Alessandro. Just joined us, you'll be glad to know that you haven't missed a goal. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. It's nice to locate someone up front. And that's been levered clear. Tries to get it forward quickly. Knocks it away. That is terrific skill. Out to the left it goes, goes for the cross. And it's half-time here. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. Any strong opinions on the first half? It's been a pretty abject performance, no effort at goal, I'm struggling to remember the last time we had that. Both goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. We're probably into the second 45 minutes. Goyas can be very glad that half-time came when it did. Poor possession and very little firepower means they need a serious pickup in this second half. No guts, no glory. D'Alessandro and it's Edda Nielsen over to the left tries to stroke it through and it's got through good take by the keeper he's read that well Guerrero Eddie Nielsen, and that has been cleared, that's been drilled forward. Well, needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. And it's played forward. Eddie Nielsen. <laughs> Looks to bypass the midfield. This was all about good movement in the box, just to allow him to get to it. Place it over to the other flank. D'Alessandro tries to switch the play. Gets it back. to get it forward quickly. Internacional uh, keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. Played in with accuracy. Very little to report from an attacking perspective. Jim, it's a cagey old game. Yes, nil-nil and little promise of a goal due to the shot-shy nature of this contest, but I'm not giving up on it. There's plenty of energy on the pitch, not to give up hope just yet. And they've been caught out here. Time to deliver. rather wayward it was more possible than probable and the outcome backed it up Peter it's a Nielsen 
forward it goes. Looking cross field, changing the point of attack. Internacional showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Cuts it out. Drives it towards the front. He's made sure that that won't get through. Well, they've got one eye on the clock, but the balancing act is very fine at this stage. Go for it, and it could backfire. Sit back, and it may be at a price. Gets into a dangerous position. Battles to win it back. So that's it, it is all over. And it looked nil-nil from a fair way out. Little craft or guile or penetration. Defences largely untroubled. It's goals.